Trooper Bame. I'm the Public Information Officer for Troop Bell Reading. To my left is Lieutenant Scott Brennan, who is the Crime Section Commander for Troop Bell. And to my right is Sergeant Mike Sadusky, who is the Station Commander here at Schuylkill Haven. PSP Schuylkill Haven was dispatched to 61 and Brick Hill Road on Monday, April 12th, 2021 at 2 p.m. for the report of a stabbing. The actor had left the scene in a silver sedan. Orwicksburg Police Department initiated a traffic stop on a vehicle, a four-door silver Honda Accord, matching the description given by Schuylkill County Communications. A short pursuit ensued. The actor then pulled over on 61 between Holly Road and Chestnut Ridge Drive. The driver was taken into custody and transported back to PSP Schuylkill Haven. The victim has been identified as George Marcinson, 38, from Orwigsburg, Pennsylvania. He was pronounced deceased at the scene by the Schuylkill County Coroner's Office. Through interviews and the investigation, this incident was a road rage incident that occurred as they were traveling southbound on Route 61. Both the victim and actor exited their vehicles where they engaged in a physical confrontation. The actor produced a knife and then proceeded to stab the victim multiple times during the altercation. PSP Schuylkill Haven continues the investigation and is looking for anyone that may have additional information to contact this station. The two vehicles involved in this road rage were a red Dodge Ram and a silver Honda Accord. The state police would like to thank the Orwicksburg, Schuylkill Haven, and Penn State Schuylkill Police Departments for the professionalism and the apprehension of the suspect. That's all I have. How long did it take between the stabbing and pulling the um, accused over on 61 between Chestnut Road and Hollyhill Drive? Minutes, it wasn't long. Can you tell us the name of the suspect? No, uh, he's not been formally charged yet. We're interviewing him until he is formally charged. We won't be releasing his name. Is he here? So Correct, he is here, yes, in custody. Is there any more information you guys can tell us about that road rage incident? Was there like any words exchanged between the two? I don't know that there was any words, but uh, jet, not gesturing, different movements with, with their vehicles. That's why we're looking for you know, anybody that might have seen some like erratic or a common road rage, if that's a thing to say, a common road rage practice of driving, we've all seen it. Something, something that would shock your conscience, I would think. Can you um, clarify for us too how to spell the victim's last name? Last name is spelled M like Mary, A-R-C, I N like Nancy C I N. Do we know at this point who may have initiated that? Not at that point. Still under investigation. A lot of work to do yet. With you know, that's where we want to get this out. So if there's anybody out there that has seen something, even if it's something really little, call us and we'll decide if it's significant or not. Is it fair to say you guys are also looking over surveillance video? We always look for surveillance video if we. You know, if someone in the area just put up a ring doorbell or some new uh, video surveillance, absolutely call over here. We want to go look at it. Is there anything else you guys want to add just about, you know, the unusualness of this? Like, you know, this happened in broad daylight on a main road. I mean, this, ha this happens, right? Road rage turns to a homicide and it happens you know, it's just, it happens everywhere. So, sad for it to happen, but, you know, this isn't the first time that road rage has ended in somebody dying. And obviously, you, you named the, the victim on this. Is his family, his family's been notified? Correct, yes. Have you spoken to them? Is there anything you can share on what they said? Uh, I, even if we would, I, we wouldn't share that. That's for them to grieve about. And what area did the, uh, the pursuit end? I'm sorry? And where did the pursuit end? Uh, between Holly Road and Chestnut Ridge Drive on 61. And you're all going to get a copy of this, what I read from. Okay? And last question for you. Um, is it true that the victim was pulled out of his vehicle? That's all part of the investigation. 
That's why we're hoping there again. I'm going to say it again. You know, anybody saw anything? There's a lot of traffic on 61 at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. There's probably a dozen other people that saw this going northbound or southbound. That's who we want to talk to. At this point, has anyone come forward? Uh, that, seen that I don't know, other than what we found at the scene. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.